going on, everyone? Hope you guys are doing fine. So I've been catching these debates online on TikTok. First of all, I want to give all the credits to Angels of Light. He is the one who has been debating these globe believers. So shout out to you. Give him a follow if you are on TikTok. So these guys, they don't think of their own. You know, like they have been instructed to deny that the speed of the earth is a th uh, roughly 1,040 mi thousand miles per hour at the equator, 1,600 kilometers per hour at the equator. So they have all been instructed to deny this and they use numbers like rotations or degrees. So this video is going to be to address this. We're going to be listening now a couple of uh, professors, university professors and since I was a kid I have learned the speed of the earth in kilometers in Brazil, 1,600 kilometers per hour at the equator. And I can say this is the same in different countries, different languages. We all have learned that, but now they have been denying this very fact. So let's go ahead and take a listen to these guys stating that the speed of the earth at the equator is in fact 1,040 miles per hour or 1,600 kilometers per hour. Well, I mean, NASA doesn't have to perform an experiment to prove that it's moving at a thousand miles per hour. You can figure out that at the equator, the Earth is moving at about a thousand miles per hour from a reference frame that is outside of the Earth. So the equator is about 25,000 miles around, and it takes 24 hours for one full rotation. Okay. So if you divide those two numbers, you get approximately, they're going to approximately a thousand miles an hour. We know the circumference of the Earth is 40,075 kilometers. Divide 23.93 hours into the circumference and you get 1,675 kilometers per hour or 465 meters per second. Or 465 meters per second. As we know that it's turning 24 hours, the circumference around the equator is about 24,900 miles. And we know it rotates once every 24 hours. So you just divide 24 into 24, 900. It comes out to 1,037 miles an hour. Distance is equal to circumference of the Earth. And time taken is equal to 24 hours. So when we calculate, it becomes 1670 kilometer per hour. Since the circumference of the Earth is roughly 25,000 miles and it takes 24 hours for one day to happen, 25,000 divided by 24 is roughly 1,000. 1,041 miles per hour. As the Earth rotates, the equator is going the fastest. You're going about a thousand miles an hour. So there you have it. So let's go ahead and start listening to these debates and I will be commenting on um, as we go along. Really, shut up, shut up. How fast does the Earth rotate at the equator in your model? How fast in miles per hour? In miles per hour? Well, here's the thing. We don't measure rotation in miles per hour. At the equator, the Earth is moving at about a thousand miles per hour. So, so, so here's does. the thing you want me it's to say, so I'll times, go ahead and say it. What, what is the speed? We'll, we'll go ahead and say what it. Is the I'll just go ahead distance and say the thing time. you want me to say. Yeah, what it's is a it? thousand miles an hour. Okay. How about that? And how much is that, is that in what you second? want me to say? How much, miles an hour? Yeah. How, much, how much in one second, Jardock? Well, I don't know. I'm not going to calculate that off okay, the top of my head. You calculated it off the top of your head. 1,500 feet. Alright, cool. So Who cares? cares? Ah, the whole scientific community? We know the circumference of the Earth is 40,075 kilometers. Divide 23.93 hours into the circumference and you get 1,675 kilometers per hour or 465 meters per second. So if I throw a, I throw a ball up for one second, does it deviate? Does the ball go up? Thousand five hundred miles wait. per hour. Wait. So Conservation of right momentum. Right now. Oh, so now there's no Coriolis right now. Thank you. You just debunked Coriolis. No. Thank you. So the the ball does not deviate. There's no Coriolis effect to prove it. Then. Thank you, Chato. No, Thank you, you, right you literally said the ball deviates. Coriolis effect, an effect whereby a mass moving in a rotating system experiences a force, the Coriolis force, acting perpendicular to the direction of motion and to the axis of rotation. 
On the Earth, the effect tends to deflect moving objects to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern. Coriolis, you don't know what Coriolis is, you said conservation of momentum. Yeah, conservation of momentum. So I'm standing at the equator, I throw a ball up and it doesn't f***ing move anywhere, right? But if I Let's look at the planetary rotation. Does that, oh, not, oh, yeah, does yeah, that not engage with a field kick? So if you have a north-south stadium, and many are, if it's oriented that way, and the kicker kicks the ball, depending on how high and how long it's in the air, the rotation of the Earth can have a significant effect on its trajectory towards the goalpost. If you're trying to make a 50-yard field goal, that's far away enough. And the ball is airborne long enough for the rotation of the Earth to deflect it to the right by a third of an inch. I throw a ball up straight up in the air at the equator. It lands back in my hand. Have some more fluoride water. You're just yelling at me. Yeah. Okay, check this out right now. If I throw the ball north at the equator, does it deviate 1,500 feet sideways? The further away it travels from the equator, the further towards the right. Okay, so down hand. Now that I've thrown the ball forward, right, it doesn't deviate 1,500 feet. Right, right hand, it doesn't deviate 1,500 uh, feet sideways. How come, right hand? Go on, say conservation of momentum again. Disprove Coriolis again. So, you know, don't, you don't wonder why people get triggered, dude. You're a because you've got no argument to actually beat me, so you have to insult me because you don't know anything about what you're talking about. <laughs> it's so triggered. Look how mad he is, dude. Look how mad he is. He's like 60 years old, still doesn't know what Coriolis is. He said conservation of momentum, so you're denying Coriolis. Please elaborate how you destroyed non Coriolis. Please elaborate. Yeah, by, by you saying that uh, if I throw a ball up and it lands back in my hand, that, def that defeats Coriolis, that means Coriolis doesn't exist. Yeah. It's not necessary, he's not being like that towards you, so just chill so, so I don't have to move. So, the, the to conservation of momentum. Oh, see, so you're like And now you're gonna go, you're gonna go, oh, so Coriolis doesn't exist. Oh, so hang on. We didn't observe Coriolis because of conservation of momentum. How does that prove it's Coriolis? Sick. Throwing a ball up, oh, right, and so it drifting sideways, it doesn't happen, and that's not what Coriolis exactly. is. Coriolis doesn't exist. I throw a ball north of the equator right now. Does it deviate 1,500 uh, feet sideways because of Coriolis and that's how fast the Earth's? I throw the ball a meter in front of me and it's in the air for one second. Does it deviate sideways 1,500 feet? No. Oh, why not? The Earth just Because it was coupled to the Earth at the time you released oh, so, it. Right, so then no Coriolis. <laughs> no Coriolis then. Thank you guys hey, for denying Coriolis. If a soccer match is taking place right at the equator where Earth spins 460 meters per second or 1,500 feet per second from west to east, would the player be able to score or would Earth under the ball spins from west to east? If the ball is moving with the Earth, then Coriolis effect does not exist. If the ball travels 3,000 feet in two seconds and Earth under the ball is moving from west to east at 1,500 feet per second, that means the ball would land 3,000 feet to the side of the goalpost. And I tweeted, the winning field goal in that game was aided by a one-third of an inch deflection to the right from Earth's rotation. Documents say non-rotating and the pilot does not have to adjust for Coriolis. Were you wrong by saying that that's just for simplification? False premise. I said the pilot does have to adjust. He just oh, doesn't really? notice because it's a tiny hair's breadth. Was it a tiny bit when the Earth rotates at the equator a thousand five hundred feet per second? Because it's relative to the ground. It's not. You can't take an absolute linear That's movement and equate that. Number five. Hey. You just deny Coriolis five times. <laughs> okay, check this out. If I hover a drone above a spinning merry-go-round does the merry-go-round spin underneath <laughs> the drone it, okay how, how, if it have you ever worked a blender angel how about if you answer my question not no answer, no not it doesn't the because question. the merry-go-round the merry-go-round is not moving the air around it okay that drone so, so now, is coupled to the air which is coupled to the earth rotation not the rotation right, of the merry-go-round this right. is correct so right, now is that, that true Yes. So now, right, when, when you yes. spin a merry-go-round, does the air around the merry-go-round swirl we around and everybody starts to fly towards again. it? Hang on one second. No, so I did do, not. If, okay. The merry-go-round is actually a good example of Coriolis. Try to really? throw a ball somebody yeah, it's actually in the merry-go-round across the way. Yeah, so why does, it work, why does it work with a ball but with not a drone? 
What do you mean? Well, well, one second. So if I do the drone now on the on the equator, does it deviate sideways 1,500 feet every second? It is <laughs> going at the same rotation rate as the Earth. It is coupled one. to the atmosphere, it's, and the atmosphere is rotating. With so how come Coriolis works on a rotating system but not the Earth? It works on the Earth. It's Doesn't just Omega it small. It six times. You said conservation of momentum. Since you're saying the atmosphere moves with the Earth. Is that what you're saying? Yes, the atmosphere, the atmosphere is coupled to the Earth. Just like when you turn a blender on, eventually all of that stuff starts spinning. We have learned that air particles are independent from each other. What's inside a blender is normally liquid or solid like ice cubes. This professor cannot compare a gas to solid or liquids. See as this girl jumps into a pool full of independent plastic ball. Her jump does not affect the other side of the pool. And the stuff near the blades is spinning at the rate of the blades, but it doesn't start that way. It takes a little bit of time. Because he just said that the Earth, the atmosphere is vel velcroed to the Earth. How come the, how come clouds move in all directions? And they're part of the atmosphere. So relative to the ground, they're not moving that fast, but there are local disturbances in the atmosphere, man. We're not saying that the atmosphere is a rigid body. It is a gas. Right? So, does, this is a gas. So, so again, does the helicopter velcro itself to the atmosphere? The helicopter, when it is on the surface of the Earth, it is moving with the Earth. So it has uh, that velocity, that inertia. So when you lift it up, it still has that velocity and it has inertia. It's going to stay there. And since the wind is moving with the Earth, there's nothing to deviate it. So it's just like saying Earth is stationary and only things that are on Earth are possible to measure speeds, but not Earth itself. And so, uh, so the why, only th why, wait, why the bullet then? Why does it change with a bullet? When so, the so, bullet so, leaves so, the ground, it's it's going the same inertia as the ground, right? It is, yes. So okay, then, so why would a, why would someone have to account for Coriolis if it's if it's leaving the same at that, the that, same spin that, rate? That, that that's a good question. So when we do this long range artillery, the only control you have on that projectile is the initial condition you give it. You have to give it initial velocity and and, and in some direction. That's all you have. You can no longer yeah. make adjustments, but with the air. But what do you account for when you fire that trajectory off? So, so, so you you have to account for every possible deflection it's going to suffer, and the Coriolis well, isn't going to be every even possible if it's small. Deflection. Wait, how much? Okay, so here, here's have, here's have centrifugal here's what I Coriolis, here's what I need. Gravity, drag. In order for me to get behind Coriolis at all, okay. there would have to be a sliding scale that would that would have to account for the cardinal direction, and um the cardinal direction that you're at, and the longitude that you're at on on the Earth, right? So depending where you are away from the equator, north or south, and depending on what direction you're facing, there would be a different value for what you would account for. Do you have that table? So it's omega cross V. So the spin rate of the Earth cross, which is a, a, a basically a fancy multiplication, into the velocity. So this is just directions. The Earth's spin axis, we typically say, is in the Z direction. <clears throat> and your velocity is going to have some direction relative to X. One second. One second. Oh, and we have you Blitz said... here. And so he can help along with the math of this. It's, Blitz. It's... Blitz. Howdy. Hey Blitz. Hey, hey Blitz, how are you? Hey, what's up Blitz? Just, just wondering, uh, Blitz, the helicopter is in the atmosphere. Is it velcroed with the atmosphere? Is that what you're saying? That's Obviously why it's not. It's a straw man of the position to say so. Okay, can you, explain um, to me, can, you explain to me, can you explain to me why there's no deviation of the helicopter that's hovering on the equator? In so, particular, the helicopter is in air that, that is so, so close to the ground on the scale of the Earth. Let's that it's effectively on the boundary. The ground is effectively, or the air is effectively not moving with respect to the ground. What, for about, this reason. what about if it's a kilometer up? That, that, so that is very, saying... very small on the, scale, on the scale of the atmosphere. So the Coriolis effect does not affect a helicopter 1,000 feet up in the air, but affects a ball 20 feet up in the air. The rotation of the Earth can have a significant effect on its trajectory towards the goalpost. Why, why is it very small? because the atmosphere extends up 100 kilometers and the Earth is 4,000 miles in radius. It's, so it's one me, kilometer me, is very, very small. Let me simplify this. If we hover a drone on a spinning merry-go-round, right? This merry-go-round spins underneath the drone, right? Yeah, so the, the merry-go-round is not in equilibrium with the gas around it. So if I hover the up- The Earth is in equilibrium with the atmosphere. How, how fast does the Earth rotate in one second in your model at the equator? It rotates once per day. How much is that in miles per hour? 
I don't measure rotations in miles per hour. At the equator, the Earth is moving at about a thousand miles per hour. Yeah, that's a tangential. Not a, useful, hang on, hang on. not a useful notion. So, so, hang on. The Earth, when I Google it, right, is Google lying about the Earth model when it says it's 1,037 miles per hour? That's not a rotation rate. That's a tangential velocity. That's a literal rotation rate. Well, yeah, if somebody, if, we if some website on Google says that that's a rotation rate, then they're using that's the awesome. language incorrectly. Because right now, here in New York, you can calculate at our latitude, we are all moving with the Earth at 800 miles an hour. Okay, so if so, does the Earth move a thousand miles per hour at the equator sideways? You, you know, if I can just quickly Relative add, in my kid, in my kid's school book, it actually talks about the lineal velocity speed of the Earth's spin. It doesn't talk about the the RPM. It doesn't talk about oh, one. I'm sorry that your kid's day. school book is. I know. Increasing I know. flat earthers by using language poorly. Increasing oh, the number of flat earthers. No, 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 Blitz. I, I'm saying I, I that this is how it's always been. I it's lit I, I've taught physics at a university level for years. That's not how we teach it. Okay. Can you answer this question? My eight year old's not a university, Blitz. Okay. Does so why, why not we pay the indoctrination to starts early rather right? than to eight year olds? No, the indoctrination starts early. Education. University. That's that's called education, man. Not, not that's education. indoctrination, George. It's it's. One, when one you second. deny that every th that that water sits flat at at rest. Oh my no, gosh! And nobody here comes has the right denied things. that. Here we okay, go. Okay, what's flat? Can you tell me what level? Wait, wait, let's not switch subjects. They haven't even answered the correlation. Yeah, perpendicular to down. The yeah, the, the it's the perpendicular to the forward. relative force of. Yeah, it's just perpendicular to down. One second. One exactly. second. Correct. One second. Bl blitz. Does the mm -hmm. Earth move on your model at the, at the equator, a thousand thirty-seven miles, in relative yeah. to what? <laughs> relative to the rotation. How much the degrees? The rotation isn't a place or a reference. Yeah, I'm pretty sure angels will not know the motion relative, relative to, does to does the Earth reference rate. Does the Earth rotate range. fifteen degrees per hour? Sorry. Does the Earth rotate fifteen degrees per hour? Sure. How much is that in miles per hour at the equator? It, that is relative to what? The Earth rotating, how much is that? The, you you're asking this? how quickly does the Earth rotate relative to the Earth's rotation? How much does it's it a, move? It's a nonsense question. How much does it move in an hour? East. Relative Please. to what? Um, are you this thick, dude? Angels, Wait, do, you, he, do you know what the answer do you know what that question you guys is that I'm asking you? Are you seriously speed. hang on? Are you seriously you guys can't even miss the speed already? We're trying to get to I, the bottom I use of the language question. in a very precise way. Okay. I don't, I don't know if you guys move? do. I use does language the, in a very particular way, in a way that has a strict definitions. Per hour. This guy, Dr. Blitz, uses language to deceive his viewers. Relative to what? Relative to the Earth's rotation. That's not a place or a reference frame. Well, how, it doesn't how much make does sense it move? to talk about motion to relative space. to motion. How much does it move at the equator in miles per hour, please? Relative to what? Relative, relative to, to not being on the Earth. Relative, okay, no, so what? Earth. how, how quickly I'm, is that reference frame moving Dr. Blitz, when you're not on I'm the Earth? If I'm on the equator, standing on the equator... No, Blitz is being disingenuous, to... that's the problem. He's being disingenuous. He, he, he knows how? the f***ing question and he's uh, dancing yeah, around he's it. Not... How much does the Earth rotate at the equator relative to you standing on it? If I'm standing on the Earth at the equator, do I rotate? So surely you rotate, yes. You how rotate about a particular how, axis. How much, how much distance have I covered at the equator in an hour? Distance measured relative to what? Dude, you can't be this, dude. We measure distances getting, relative to, not, look, no, when you measure distance, close. you're measuring from A to B. Okay, when, you're, when your model claims okay, that we're you. traveling such and such <sighs> light years through space in a year, where's your reference point? How there is no model beginning? that's claiming we're traveling such and such light uh, years so in a then, year. So when you, when you There's ask not a single on, model that makes that claim. What distance do we travel in a year, Blitz? Relative to what? You can't be this thing. This so, is so ridiculous. This is, it's actually a good question. He's just relative, trying to get to this Relative to the beginning here. place of your space. You know exactly what, what I'm asking. Place? There you is know no beginning exactly place. You know exactly what Angel of Light is asking. You're if he's standing, asking he's how quickly does someone on the equator move relative to somebody on the North Pole, Blitz, that's Blitz, about a thousand Blitz, miles per hour. If Blitz, your model claims that we're orbiting. According to NASA, according to NASA, nspace.com, they give a speed. So you're denying NASA, you're denying space.com, no, just because you don't precise. even want to admit to a speed. Yeah, he's you just being ridiculous. Around I'm being precise. Around if you don't like precision, you don't even, get out of science. Why does space.com give a speed? <laughs> wait, wait. Why does NASA give a speed? Why can't you give a speed? 
Okay. Because you ha- if you want to talk about speed, velocity, NASA you know gives velocity a speed, is defined. Google gives a speed. Do you know what velocity Wikipedia is? Wikipedia gives a speed, but you, you know can't give a speed. Is? Do you know what velocity it. is? Say a thousand thirty. Every source you go to gives a speed. But I don't care what sources say. I use language in a precise speed. way. If you don't like that, then you, you know, okay, don't ask can questions. You, I guess. Can you please use language and just say this number, please? Who the f- made you the authority on 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 how this on how you communicate like that? Wait, the question is very. This is clear. how I communicate. If you don't like it, that, then it is ridiculous. It is you know ridiculous. It is? Hey guys, guys, You're living in your own world, there, Blitz. No, Jorge. Jorge, hold on. You. Defending this is bullshit too. You know exactly what we're fucking asking. Both of you are being disingenuous right now, and you know exactly what what the question is being asked. When, when y'all there's, there's fucking literature. Hold on, there's literature in books all over the place about how fast we're going through the universe, how fast we're spinning, how fast the universe is going. That was it's okay, ever okay. expanding. All this bullshit. No, hold on, hold on, Jorge. Let me finish. Let me finish. If we're asking how fast we're traveling. How fast are we spinning? You know exactly what we're asking, Blitz. It's what the fucking knowledge is that you learned. Answer Wait, the so question wanna, and stop being so, disingenuous, so man. I'm sorry that you're reading from like pop PopSci news articles and Wikipedia and Google. No, now you're straw manning. Just, no, now I'm, you're straw manning. Well, no, no, I mean, no, 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 no. Literally, you do you not know where, you do not know what books that I got my I'm knowledge pretty, from. I'm what popular sure mechanics? Right. Is that what you're going to cite? Dr. The Blitz, do you teach out of popular somebody, mechanics? Literally, somebody just pulled up. I, I don't care. I don't care if you want to claim that your university is a street corner and you're reading out of popular mechanics, Blitz. I've you want to add doctor to the front of your mechanics. name? So, 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 well, you, you want a straw man where I'm coming from? I'm going to do the same to you. Uh, hold on, Michael. Wait, Blitz. did you not? Did, did somebody not just cite Wikipedia, Google, and did you uh, did you not on? just cite that I got my information from some fucking magazine? Was it, wait, was it not you who cited? No, you want you want to play that energy? I'll give no, it back Mike, to you, pal. Mike, maybe it was somebody. You ready else? to let your long <laughs> hair down, Mike? Mike, who cited space.com? Was it not you? Okay, I'm sorry. I got you confused, Mike, with Rip Globe. Does it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. When you Mike. look it up and you've got all these sources that are saying the same number and you can't spit out a number, what everyone is here is watching this, Blitz, and you're being disingenuous, man. All I'm asking Mike. for You're is supposed to be an authority question. on the topic. This should be an yep. easy question for you to answer. Asking there's multiple. For precision. You're in denial, Mike, Mike. There, you're not accepting multiple. what they're saying. Guys, it's, it's stop. Precision. We know the circumference of the Earth is 40,075 kilometers. Divide 23.93 hours into the circumference and you get 1,675 kilometers per hour or 465 meters per second. When, when they can indoctrinate, hundred. when they can indoctrinate the masses of children with this knowledge and give them a number, but you but can't, that's where I'm going to call you disingenuous. <laughs> You can call me disingenuous if you want. I just use language in a precise way. And if you don't like that yeah, tough shit, that's how we do that. science. Keep saying that. I literally yeah, just told you in a precise way. You told me in a precise way what the, what the what you're measuring relative to? Well, then where do you want no, to that, no, 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 I told you in a precise way that you're being disingenuous. They okay, want to teach well, the I'm masses these figures and you and you can't string out a number that they teach in grade four science. There's multiple. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Blitz, how much do you get paid? It's not that I feel that way. It's crystal clear. I'm stating an observation. It has nothing to do with feelings. It's facts. Okay, pal. well, peer review seems to disagree because I don't think Jorge, who is your hey, peer, hey, disagrees. Hey, Actually, Jorge is Jorge's not your peer. So Jorge you is peer not my peer. I, I know. Blitz. I know. That was my mistake. He's not. Dr. Blitz, how much does the peer review say? How, how fast do they say the Earth spins? I don't know. I, I've never seen a peer-reviewed article that actually uses that kind of language. So why not? Maybe why not? You reckon? Why? Well, ju- just because I don't go back and look at peer-reviewed articles from the early 1900s because it's just not particularly interesting. I mean, I have a, I have on occasion. So but... wait, did the Earth did the Earth stop rotating since then? No, it's just people aren't investigating this because we've known the Earth is round and spinning for 2,000 plus years. Oh, so it's it's not. It's it, not it a is spinning, right? Of it course, it's spinning. spinning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, how fast is the equator again in miles per hour? It's spinning one rotation per day. And how much is that miles per hour? At the equator, the Earth is moving at about a thousand miles per hour. It's, there's no direct conversion rate between. As the Earth rotates, the equator is going the fastest. You're going about a thousand miles an hour. What's the circumference of the Earth? The circumference of the Earth? Um, but no, Blitz, you can see like 24,901 miles? About 25,000 miles, yeah. Okay, so if you do the math on that, and 15 degrees per hour, Right, mm-hmm. around the ball at the equator. How fast has it moved in miles per hour? Uh, is it is it thousand? So, so I mean, look, look, we can go over the math if you want. On, yeah, let's go. Let's go with the math. If I throw the ball, does it deviate a thousand five hundred feet in one second? 
at the equator. Why would you expect it to? Um, Because according to your globe cartoon religion, the Earth rotates 1,500 feet in one second. If you do the math, like you love yeah, math. So, so the Earth is ro- is on rotating axis, right? And it spins 1,040 miles per hour as measured at the equator, which you keep denying, right? This is 460 meters or per second or 1,500 feet. One complete rotation is called a day. Now, can you please, seeing, seeing, as, seeing as you love math so much, mm-hmm. how, would you do, how would you do the math on that? On If the, if the Earth is... Uh, 24,901 miles in circumference and it moves 15 degrees per hour, which is 1,037 uh, miles per hour. Is that 1,500 feet approximately in one second? Blitz, can you do the math, please? That's not how motion works. You have to account for all of the possible effects on the motion, which you're not doing. We know the circumference of the Earth is 40,075 kilometers. Divide 23.93 hours into the circumference and you get 1,675 kilometers per hour or 465 meters per second. So if I, so if I throw a ball north, right, and it's in the air for one second, how much will the ball deviate? So how fast are you throwing it? I throw it 50 miles and it's in the air for one second. If it's in the air for one second, it probably won't deviate much because the Coriolis effect over small scales is not very much. Hang on, the Earth just moved 1,500 feet though. It is moving relative, it's moving north in the rotating (laughs) reference frame relative to its initial position, which was stationary. Why does it start off stationary, dude? With respect to the Earth. So the Earth has no Coriolis then? Look, when a ball is sitting on the ground, it's stationary with respect to the Earth. (laughs) You mean with respect you understand to that, yeah? relative no to the Earth? How many reference frames for Coriolis splits? With respect to the Earth, you just, you just need one reference frame. What? <laughs> as long as like, like you, so Coriolis like, occurs so in a the, rotating reference frame, like you, you just need the one reference frame. In this what's case, it's it's a rotating reference frame of the Earth. That's where you work because we live on the Earth. But you just said it's stationary. With respect to the Earth, meaning that <laughs> in the reference frame of the Earth, it is stationary. So it doesn't in the reference it. frame of the in the reference frame of the Earth, it's stationary. That's you're still working in the Earth's reference frame. <laughs> How the fuck are you a science communicator, dude? You just denied Coriolis again. Angles, you, well, I didn't, didn't, but it might sound that way if you don't know what I'm saying. You like twenty Wait, times in your life, you dude. Smart. If I'm on a merry-go-round and I throw a ball, does it deviate? If it's spinning, the merry-go-round spinning. It depends on what direction you throw it. If I throw it just in front of me, which direction are you deviate. facing? Let's thing say you're facing going, the center and you throw it towards the center. Yes, it will deviate. Just to simplify right. for you, angels. Right. So how come that, that doesn't that's happen? A, that does happen. It'll on the deviate earth. in it, every it angle. Does. Well, wait. You throw how that come in? that doesn't happen on the earth? Are you? Are you? When you throw when you throw a ball north. from the equator, are you throwing it towards the center? North, north. I'm throwing, throwing Is that it towards north. the center? No, I'm throwing it in front of me. North. Right. So why would you expect the same thing to happen on a merry-go-round when you're throwing it towards the center yeah. compared with when you're standing it on a rotating earth throwing it north? And, and, it's, and, it's, different, it's a different and, initial conditions. And also, and also, Blitz, the, the omega, the spin rate of that merry-go-round. Imagine it's the also merry-go-round. Much, much higher. Imagine the merry-go-round when oh, turned once in a day. Just imagine the merry-go-round but turned how, once but in a day. The earth is really big. Remember, yeah. I thought you guys knew scale. Guys. Yeah, the Earth is really big. That's but, why the Earth's rotation yeah. rate, even though yeah. you keep, that's you why keep citing this matters. mystical number of so one thousand whatever. Have to, hey, hey, Blitz! If I face north, right, am I rotating with the Earth that I'm standing on? Yeah. Does the Earth rotate a thousand five hundred feet in one second relative to the center? Sure. Well, okay. So how okay. come the ball doesn't deviate like that merry go round? That's not that. You can far. calculate the deviation force that you would have, and what, when it's on the equator, the force will be. Uh, yeah, the force will be zero if you're throwing. No, actually, the force <laughs> won't be zero, but it'll be pointing downward. Let me just do a quick cross product. So you have yeah. the omega, you have omega cross. Oh, no, no. How can actually, you I'm sorry. You, if you're throwing it north while you're at the equator, that's not the case. If you're throwing it, hor- you if you're throwing it east Coriolis? or west, then there would be one. Let's, yeah. Let's, do you believe in Coriolis? Does the Earth have Coriolis? Absolutely. Oh, uh, where? What do you mean where? It happens everywhere on the Earth. It just depends where? on the direction where's that you throw things in. Where? Where's everywhere? It's Whole globe. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. Dr. Blitz just said the ball doesn't deviate at the equator. Now he's saying everywhere. If you throw it it's north, it doesn't. If you throw it north or south, it doesn't. If you throw it east or west, it would. <laughs> all right, guys, this is all uh, for today. It was extremely painful to hear these professors. No, no wonder, you know, the Rockefellers, all their plans to make people workers and not thinkers. 
just slaves, and another quote that says, teach them everything about nothing. So you have all these professors teaching all this nonsense. You know, I'm glad I was able to talk my daughters into not going to college. They're working, they're making just as much money without having to put up with all this nonsense. Take care, guys. See you the next time. Bye-bye. Don't waste any more time. Visit the links above now and order my book, 16 Emergency Landings Proving Flat Earth. Visit my online store now and order the new enhanced Gleason's Flat Earth Map. This map used to be in every school and library in the nation before NASA was created in 1958, when the maps were ordered removed. Have your Gleason's map hanging on the wall in your house, where no government can take it down. Here you see it hanging on a wall in the house of the late Charles K. Johnson. Here is a quote from the book 1984 by George Orwell. Every record has been destroyed or falsified. Every book rewritten. Every picture has been repainted. Every statue and street building has been renamed. Every date has been altered. And the process is continuing day by day and minute by minute. History has stopped. Order your map now.